We meet a lot of homeless people on the streets, the street kids who are roaming around the streets every day, every night. And we go on a Sunday to our church to pray for the street kids. <laughs> we don't understand the problems those street kids face because we are observers. Let us go and be with them and become them. Then you understand why we need to pray for street kids. Why we need to give shelter to the homeless people. Let us ask this power to give us visions about what I am talking about tonight. Open up the third eye, we will begin to see how much this world needs healing today. But because we have human eyes, our visions are very narrow. <laughs> We are very narrow-minded, very, very narrow. We have a very narrow, very dark eyesight. We can see deeper into the serious problems that are hitting our world today. Some people have been asking Mandaza, is it truly possible to bring world peace here? I said yes. Once you become me and I become you, once America becomes Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe becomes America, Russia becomes United States, Japan becomes Canada, the black people become white people, and the white people become black people, we will bring world peace here without the use of arms of hope. Let my language become your language. My tradition becomes your tradition. <laughs> we bring peace to this world because I love myself profoundly. And if I see myself in you, I'm going to love you profoundly. There won't be any need for hope. The world is not yet ready for peace, my dear friends. It is never ready yet for peace. We need to reconnect ourselves with spirit. Spirit will show us the way of bringing world to peace without using arms of war. This is uh, what I see. <laughs> I hear these messages from Spirit and I live by those messages. Though in this process I make mistakes, then I ask for forgiveness and guidance, always in my prayers. That's how I can answer your question, brother. 